Hello. Hi. Good afternoon, everybody, or morning, evening, I don't know, whatever time you're watching this. Uh, but hello. Thank you so much for tuning in to the All Brands Show today. My name is Callie Champagne, and I am the marketing manager here at All Brands. Um, so I did want to start our show today with a little bit of an announcement. Um, we at All Brands here are a family, and we treat everyone here, customers, um, other business partners alike, like family. So we were very shocked and devastated to hear about the sudden passing of Lewis Carney, um, an amazing brother educator and an even more amazing person. Um, so instead of doing our regular show next Thursday, we will be replaying a previous All Brands show that we did with Lewis um, in celebration of his life and in his memory. Um, so we just wanted to start the show today to extend our condolences to Lewis's family and his friends um, because he was an absolutely incredible person and he will be re greatly missed. Um, but with that said, knowing Lewis and knowing how larger than life he was, um, as Angela Wolf put it this morning on Brothers Livestream, uh, he would definitely want the show to go on. So we are going to continue with our regular show today and Tuesday. And you can tune in Thursday at the same time and go and rewatch that really incredible live that we did with Lewis. Um, but today we have some other incredible guests with us and I am really excited for you to see what we have for you today. Um, so first I'm going to go ahead and bring on Ed Ross Sr. who is over at Horn Cabinets. We're going to be talking about their sewing cabinets today and all of the ways that you can really spice up your sewing space with these amazing pieces of furniture. So let's bring Ed on. Hello everyone. Thanks for uh, having me today, Callie. I really appreciate it. Hi Ed. All right. So um, we're going to be talking about two different cabinets that you've got uh, over at Horn today. So if we could pull up um, one of those, I think we can start with the 8090. Um, so we're going to be delving into the details and everything uh, about these cabinets a little bit later on. But I just wanted to show you what exactly we're going to be talking about first. Um, this is the 8090. As you can see, that is a luminaire on this cabinet. So this one's got a lot of space. It's got a big cutout. It's got a great electric lift with uh, multiple adjustable positions. Um, and this is just a really great cabinet. We have a lot of different color options. I believe some of them are out of stock at the moment, but check back soon because they should be back soon enough. Is that right, Ed? Uh, we're getting in better shape every single day. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Obviously this whole virus thing has been a little bit supply chain issues, but we're, we're addressing it as much as fast as we can. Yeah. All right. So we have this one for you, the 8090. And then we also have the 9000 right here, which also can fit the XP2 Luminaire, can also fit the Baby Lock Solaris, um, Janome's N7. Um, this can fit some pretty big machines as well. And so we're going to be showing you a little bit more about both of these cabinets today. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick little overview before we delve into it. Um, and now, before we uh, continue, uh, go ahead and drop us a comment. Let us know where you're watching from, because I love seeing where everyone is watching from. Uh, so far, we've got Nancy, who's telling us hello from Florida. Thank you for watching, Nancy. And it looks like we also have Mina, who's watching from Canada. Oh my gosh, well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and stick around. Uh, we are going to be, same as usual, we're going to be giving away a $100 All Brands gift card at the end of our live show today. We'll be picking a random winner. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe or share this video if you're watching on Facebook. Uh, and that will automatically enter you into that giveaway. Um, and it looks like we've got some more people tuning in. We've got some more people coming in here. We have uh, Beverly from South Texas. Oh my gosh, I love Texas. Love going to Texas. Um, hi, Nancy. She is over in Florida. Hello. Oh my goodness. And it looks like we also have Judy from San Antonio and she loves her all brand store here in town. Well, that's really good to hear, Judy. I really love the San Antonio store too. And it uh, looks like we've also got Debbie from Canton, Ohio. Thank you so much for watching today, 
Debbie. Oh my gosh, so many lovely people. San Antonio checking in again. Hi, Lena. Thank you for watching. Um, looks like we've also got Robin uh, watching in California. Yeah, we we were really really shocked to hear about Lewis as well, but. Um, he was an amazing person. And as you know, he put on amazing classes. And so we just want to make sure that we honor his memory and do right by him. Um, and so we also got, uh, who else do we have watching today? Looks like we got Beth from snowy, cold Ohio. Oh, well, stay warm, Beth. Oh my gosh. I think it's like 60 degrees over here. Nice and kind of comfy. <laughs> Rub got, it in. Go ahead. Yeah. We've got Carrie watching from Houston. Hi, Carrie. Thank you so much for watching. And we've got Jill from Pennsylvania. All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. And again, don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, and that will put you in the uh, drawing for that $100 All Brands gift card later. So we also have another guest for you today. Um, we are going to bring in Sarah Thomas. Um, and so let's bring Sarah in as well. Hi, Sarah. Hello. How are you? I'm cold. <laughs> you said it was sleeping right where you were. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was 70 degrees two days ago, and now it's 43 and sleeting. Wow. Wow. Please yeah, we got a little bit. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, oh, my gosh. Well, thank you both so much for coming on the show. Um, so before we get started and really talk about these cabinets, because Sarah, you've got both the 8090 and the 9000 in your sewing space, right? Yes. Love them. Okay. And so before we do that, um, why don't we let Ed talk a little bit about how these cabinets are made? Um, so Ed, if you want to tell us a little bit about the, the process and stuff, and we've got a little video later, but um, why don't you give us a little bit of background? Yeah, I think I'll, I'll leave that, uh, yeah, the, the manufacturing to the video because it's really, it's uh, kind of based on how it's made, that TV show. You know, we did a lot about a five-minute clip on how our products are made from start to finish, which I think gives a very good demonstration of it. But a little history on Horn. Horn's been around for over 30 years. We make all our products here in the United States in our factory in Sutton, West Virginia, where we design and manufacture our cabinets. Uh you know, horns lasted a long time, largely for about three main reasons. First of all, it's design. Um, we kind of make furniture, you know, furniture that's very unique to the sewist, and we really pay attention to what they want. So we designed the product in that fashion. Innovation, as times have changed, so is uh, uh, the needs of the customer. We've added things like whisper quiet electric lifts that hold all the larger machines, height adjustable tables for some people who want to sit or stand while they're sewing extra large cutouts. I mean, the machines have grown over the years. So we've added uh, uh, an extra large cutout that'll hold the Luminaire, the Solaris, uh, the Bernina 880, the uh, M7 from Janome. They'll hold all those larger machines. And then I, we added some carefully thought out uh, uh, accessories or options that are usually part of our, our product, depending on which model you choose, like heavy duty casters, uh, 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 drop leaves on the side and back. So if you need more workspace area and, uh, and also, uh, you know, soft closed drawers, again, depending on the model. Uh, and the last thing is quality. I mean, we've been doing this for over 30 years. I've, I've done a few shows recently and I'm surprised on how many customers who come over said they've had their horn cabinet for 20, 25 years and it still works just the way they, they want, they expect it to. Uh, and then we back that up with a lifetime warranty or limited lifetime warranty. So, you know, we really stand behind our products. All right, well, that's awesome. Um, thank you so much for giving us a little bit of background, Ed. Um, so why don't we go ahead and show that video that we've got, uh, the little How It's Made segment on um, these horn cabinets. So let's go. At Horn of America, we use the finest grade of medium dense fiberboard available today. MDF is made from fine used wood fibers that is glued together using a resin, high heat, and pressure. One of the many advantages of MDF is that it can easily and cleanly be cut into many sizes, which makes MDF perfect for furniture, cabinets, shelving, and laminate floors. The top layer of our cabinet is a melamine laminate. This melamine laminate is secured to the MDF board using heat, pressure, and a resin, making the melamine part of the cabinet. To give our cabinets their soft rounded edge, we then add an edge banding around the outside edges of the cabinet. 
This edge reduces friction when moving fabric around one's table. The edge banding is secured to the board using a hot melt system. The high heat along with pressure activates the chemicals on the banding for a secure bond. Once the banding is secure, we trim the edges for a smooth finish on all sides. The next machine is where we drill holes for the bolt and barrel connections. We do not screw the cabinets together. This makes the cabinet sturdy and secure. The bolt and barrel connectors are easy to retighten when and if the cabinet ever comes loose. You are now seeing how we pre-cut our openings on the top side of your cabinet. Our top of the line cabinets like the 9000 and 8000 models feature a 31 inch cutout that fits today's larger machines. Our value 5000 model cabinets feature a 25 inch cutout for most average size machines. After the cabinets are assembled, we then install our Whisper Quiet electric lift. Since many of today's machines are larger and heavier, this allows one to position their machine in the storage, free arm, or flatbed positions at the touch of a button. After the lift unit is installed, we secure the base plate using the bolt and barrel connectors. Finally, we test each lift using two 40-pound boxes to make sure the, uh, the lift operates as expected. We take great care in packing our cabinets to make sure they, when they leave our facility, they arrive safe and sound at their destination. We secure the electric lift with blocks of wood so it doesn't shift in transit. We also secure the cutout and inserts to avoid any movement as well. We also pack the cabinet upside down to relieve any pressure on the casters. Lastly, we band and wrap each cabinet to an individual pallet to reduce any problems in its journey to you or your customer. All cabinets usually ship from our factory within three to five days. For an additional cost, we offer custom cut inserts designed for each machine. The insert is used to have a smooth work surface in the flatbed position. This insert is being made of plexiglass. After, after the cut, we heat seal the edge for a smooth finish. When ordering your custom inserts, please provide our customer service team with the make and model of the machine and the model of the cabinet. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. You know, what's one, uh, that's a great way to see how it's made, but I think more importantly, Sarah's gonna show how it's used because that's really what's important. Exactly, so Sarah, um, let's go ahead and uh, let's take a look at these cabinets kind of living uh, living naturally in their in their right place. Let's see what it looks like in your cellar too. I love how you say naturally. <laughs> stuff everywhere. <laughs> I am going to move the chair out of the way just so I can show better, but it does fit a normal uh, sewing chair at this level. So you just have to pretend I'm sitting, but this way I can show you all better. All right. This is the 8090 cabinet. And right now it's all closed up. And this right now is the storage position where the sewing machine is tucked away and my door is closed. And this way, if you do have little kids or animals running around the house, which I have two dogs, I hear them scratching at the door to come in right now. Um, their little paws and hands can't get into the cords and everything. So it's kind of nice. But here's how I use it. Which again, I don't close mine up all the time. So, all right, it's on caster wheels and they do have locks on the bottoms. 
but I keep mine global. All right. This slides open, and there is a little latch right underneath here that the clip then will fit into this part of the door, so you can actually like keep it latched shut. I don't usually because when I'm using it, and I'll show you what I do here, I like to be able to kind of move this portion a little bit to get into this drawer back here. But let's see here. This is the swing up side table, and it fits in nice and easy. There's little clips that it goes into, and so you've got this sturdy side table if you want to use your overlocker machine. Or for me, what I like to do is this is where I use my wool pressing pad and my little iron that I keep it plugged into the power strip that's underneath here. There's a six plug power strip. So that's where my machine is plugged in, my iron, my slim line, my light box. Um, I have something else plugged in under there. I don't know what it is. So this is where everything is stored then. Now I've got to show you this little guy first because this is kind of one of my favorites. This is the thread storage panel, and I love it. Um, it has, I want to say, 132 spool prongs for like regular size spools. You could always separate them. They just pop out. They're these little plastic pieces, these little pins, so that way you can pop them in and out if you have larger spools. But up top here, this is kind of nice. This indentation right here is really nice to keep, you know, little scissors, a seam ripper, your purple thing, something like that. But these two back here are actually magnetic. So if you have any straight pins, thimbles, anything at all that you just want to make sure stays put and doesn't roll off anywhere, they're right here. It's not a cup holder, but that's not to say you can't use it as a cup holder. <laughs> So there's the thread storage panel. Um, all right, let's get into this right here. So this is in the storage position, and I store lots of things in here. I keep my clappers in here when I'm done. Um, now here's something. If you do have a knee lift on your machine, make sure you take it off before you do the next step here. So I have it off and on the ledge. And then you just lift from underneath, and you take the panel off. Easy peasy. There's your machine. I'm gonna slide my light out of the way. All right, back here, behind the machine, behind the, the lift is where I store the actual wrap for my machine. And so when you get your, your entire cabinet, you can choose um, to have a color matching wrap or the clear acrylic. I personally like the clear just so that way I can see underneath my machine other things whatever. All right and then this guy will store right on back here. All right so it's tucked away. I always make sure that everything's out of the way so I don't accidentally peel anything up. All right. And then there's a little toggle switch under here that you go to the left and it raises up. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it all the way up to the free arm position first. And it'll stop when it's at its highest. The cords in there catching. Okay, so this is the free arm position. So if you do have an embroidery module or you wanna be able to get into the free arm itself, this is where you would want to be working with it. Um, Again, if you are sewing in the flatbed position, which I'm going to go to next, that's kind of where my happy place is, you can always bring it up to this position if you want to be able to access ooh, my dirty bobbin area. I should probably clean that. I'm sorry. Um, then let's take it back down. Same thing with the toggle. Take it back down until you think this is about level. You can still play with it a bit. And then... Do I have this the right direction? This wraps right around and it sits down on the ledges just like the filler panel does. I've got it a little too high. There we go. So now, there we go. 
There we go. And we've got it level. So now I can sew or quilt or whatever it is I'm doing and everything's going to slide right through here, which is handy because if you are quilting quite a bit, you can just move your fabric and everything just moves seamlessly on the tabletop and it's not going to get caught on anything. Here's something else too with this cabinet, the 8090. If I were to pull it out away from the wall, which I'm not going to because I'd be bumping into this one, there is a rear extension panel and I'll have Ed verify, but I think it's another 12 inches that swings up on the back. So you've got all that extension behind you as well if you're doing something big. Now, that's where I can put my little knee lift back in. So there's, there's that. All right, over here are the three drawers. The bottom one's deeper, and then the two upper ones. They are on soft, close slides. Say that five times fast. So those are really nice drawers. The cabinet then also has a side extension panel. So here it is. All right, do you see these two pins, sort of, kind of? And then on the edge back here, there's two pins. So they fit into these holes to clip into place. And down. So now I have this side work area and then for me when I have my wool pressing pad over here this is where I do like to set my light box so that way I can do my paper piecing. I do a lot of foundation paper piecing and I can do everything all right here just swiveling in my chair left to right with the machine right in front of me. Um, you saw down here where I did have that stored. Let me move this so you can see it better. There is a little bit of a storage space down on this side too. So this is where you can store this panel when you're not using it. You can keep other cutting mats, um, any manuals, books. If you do have an embroidery module, you could stick it through right here. There's actually back in here, like way in here, there are some holes drilled into the side panel with some little L-shaped brackets. So if you had embroidery hoops, you could hang them in there as well. Um, yeah, that's the 8090. And it's kind of amazing. And I sit at it almost every day. It's got, let's see here, oh, over here. So I forgot to mention this little piece over here off to the side. When I brought out this table, the serger table, it clips into this side extension panel. So this right here does drop down. There's about 13, 14 inches that drops to the side. So you don't have to have this extension right here up either. And then I personally have my, this is a daylight slimline lamp. Love it. Um, since I have the side panel up and extended, I don't use the clamp. I actually have the table base for the lamp because I like to have it right here, right in front of my machine. You could technically use the clamp over here on the far side, but it's too long of a reach for my liking, personally. Um, but yeah, there's lots of table space and lots of storage, good drawers, good room. It's all on caster wheels. You have the swing up in the back if you need the extra space, but I'm very, very lucky. I don't need to use that because I'm going to show you the Model 9000. So let me very carefully swing you around just a little bit. Hey, Sarah, while you're doing that, we're going to go ahead and show the, um, the little banner that we've got for the uh, 8090 in case anyone is uh, wanting to see any more of these details. So this is the 8090. Obviously, we have a picture of it right here with an XP2 on it. Um, so Sarah, you've got it. You said it was a Bernina uh, 770 on there, right? Yep. I have the 770 in there. Okay. So not only can it fit that 770, but it can, it does have a big enough cutout for the XP2. So, you know, like Sarah said, if you do have an embroidery module, you can just scoop that lift all the way up to the top, hook up your embroidery module and get embroidering. Um, but one of the things that I really like about this cabinet is that it does come in several colors. So you have 
a wide variety of options. Now, if you are watching this live, um, some of these colors are out of stock at the moment, but we should be getting them back very soon. Um, so keep checking our site if you are interested in this cabinet. Um, and yes, you are reading that right at the bottom. We are offering financing. Um, you only have to pay $395 a month for 12 months on this cabinet. Okay. That is so awesome. And I'm so, so happy that we have the opportunity to do this. Um, you, you saw all the details you, you've seen, you saw Sarah show everything off. This is an amazing cabinet. It's so versatile. You have so many options. Um, it is a really, really remarkable piece of sewing furniture, but uh, I won't interrupt you anymore, Sarah, and we can go ahead and uh, I'll let you show them the 9,000. So your financing is really good. If I have room for another one, I might take you up on that. <laughs> <laughs> for all my machines. <laughs> all right, this is the model 9,000. And right now it's at the exact same height as the 8090. So they're both, you know, 29 inches tabletop tall. However, this guy can go all the way up to 40 inches. Did you know that? Here's how. All right, I'm gonna roll it and hopefully, hopefully we can see all this good stuff. All right, over here to the right hand side, there's a little panel. So the little red toggle switch is exactly like the toggle switch I had on the 8090 where it stores my machine and I can bring it up or down. Now, right now, I do have the cutting mat that fits this tabletop on here. So you can't actually see it. I'm gonna try and do this carefully. But do you see here is the panel, the filler panel where then my machine could come up and then I can put in the acrylic panel and everything like that. But I've already shown you how that part works. That's exactly the same. It raises, it lowers. You can stop it in the flatbed position. You can bring it all the way up so you can go to the free arm position, which again is perfect for embroidery. If you do have a module and you want like a big area to set out all of your other hoops and uh, combs of thread and that type of thing. But next to that toggle switch is this keypad over here. So if I hold the button here, Oh, and I need to reset it because I've turned the power off. This will happen sometimes. If you turn the power completely off, I, I had it unplugged from the wall. Sometimes it'll, you'll get an error code right here. Not a big deal. Just hold the down arrow all the way until it flashes and it resets. That's how it works. Okay, so I'm going to come all the way up and I can stop wherever I want. There's a little gauge right here that's actually going to tell me what my height is. So right there, it stopped at 33.3. .3. But what's this right here? These are my pre-programmed. So I actually have programmed it in so that the very highest setting, 40 inches, is going to be my preset number three. I have preset number two at 33 inches because that's what I like for cutting. Um, I'm kind of tall, so I like it a little higher. And then I have my preset number one down at 29 inches if I were sitting here in a chair. But this is awesome if you want to stand up and quilt. In fact, let me raise this up just a little bit. I'll go gentle. I'll be gentle. There we go. Sort of, kind of, hopefully. <laughs> so if you weren't quilting and you didn't want to sit down or you wanted to stretch your back or even if you had one of those high stools, um, this is awesome. You can sit here, have your machine all the way up, quilt around, stand here and watch your embroidery module doing its thing. For me, I'm using it as sort of a prep and a drafting table right now. So I have um, some pattern blocks laid out. I have some other patterns kind of getting ready to go. This is awesome. I can cut on it. So right here to the side, this pass through goes all the way through to the back side of the table. So I keep my six inch by 24 inch ruler right in here. And that way I can cut right on here and do what I need to do. Um, over here is another soft close drawer. So this one's nice. I can store all sorts of little bits, you know, a rotary, other little pressing pads, other clappers, you know, whatever you need to store over here. Um, oh, I need to show you this couple fun little things over here. 
All right, with that drawer, do you remember on the 8090 how I pulled out the drawer and I could slip in that platform to have a side extension? This table comes with this panel so that you can do the extra side extension right here, which is nice, I won't lie, but it gets better. I actually opted to do the side extension package on this table just so I could have some extra room. So this extra little, I think 12, 13 inches panel swings up. There's a little guy underneath that pulls out to support it so it's not going anywhere. And then this is the new extension panel then that I'm going to use. So it angles, so same thing, the clips go in and then the drawer clips go in, it supports. There's a little device underneath both the panel itself and then the swing up panel that they clip and lock into each other to make sure that these two are sturdy. But now look at all this extra room if I'm using this to actually do quilting or anything that has big garment sizes. Let me we'll go ahead and lower this. I just hit the preset number one. So it's lowering, 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 and it'll stop on its own. It's really kind of nice. It's so quiet. It's whisper quiet. Anyways, all right, so now you can see that. See how it's this nice big side extension area and that you do have all this room here. If you were moving a large bit of fabric around, you've got all of that space. Last but not least, well, first of all, you can tell it's on caster wheels because the way I'm moving it around. But I want to show you, you know what? I should probably take these off so that way I can swing it without bumping my other cabinet. Let's close this. All right. I'm going to show you the back side of the 9000. Just so y'all know, this is technically my formal dining room, so I have a chandelier right up here and I'm trying not to hit my head in it. Alrighty, here's the back side of the 9000. So this is that password panel where, oh, where my ruler goes. So it's available from both sides depending on where you need to get to it. It has an adjustable shelf, so I just have it set sort of in the middle so I can stick bolts and other fabric and doodahs under there. This thin shelf is fixed and it goes back, I'd say that's about 14 inches. <laughs> I could do the measuring if you really want to know. So this is a nice shelf in here. I keep ongoing projects going in here. Um, this one's going to be a lot of fun and oh there's some fun projects coming. All right and then over here is another Shelf again, it goes about 14 inches. It's where that drawer pulls out. So I keep my laptop or my tablet stored in there. Um, and other than that, I think that sort of wraps up the whole Model 9000 with all the goodies that it does. If you have questions or if I missed anything, don't hesitate mm -hmm. to ask. Yeah, so we have a few questions from some folks. Um, our, our team members over here have been kind of answering some questions on the back end. Um, but for those of you who are curious, uh, the both of these cabinets, it looks like, are um, they're 29 and 3 quarters inch high. Um, well, the, that, the 8090 is obviously the 9000 is adjustable, as you just saw. Uh, but let's go ahead and bring Ed back in, because I think he can answer these questions better than I definitely and could. Tape measures, if anyone needs uh, to see she's them. got the measuring tape, too, just to. Perfect. <laughs> so, but yeah, so for those of you uh, who are wondering, um, Ed, you said this one is 29 and 3 quarters inch uh, 29 tall. and 3 quarters right? inch tall, yeah. The 8090, okay. that is. And obviously, like you said, the 9,000 can be adjusted between 29 and 40 inches. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have someone over on YouTube, it looks like, wondering how wide. Um, I think, I believe you mean the, um, the 9,000, uh, how wide the 9,000 is. Go ahead, Sarah. I think it's 36. 9,000 is 36. There we go. 
Perfect. <laughs> and how, uh, I guess now that we're talking about measurements, how long is the, uh, the 9,000? <laughs> Since we're here, we got the tape measure. <laughs> Well, on the 9,000 without the extension should be 60 inches. Okay. Uh, Correct. All right. If you throw the extensions in. Right <laughs> and our extension adds 12 and three quarters. There you go. Perfect. Well, hopefully that answers everyone's question about <laughs> the um, about the uh, the measurements on these. And if you are just tuning in, thank you so very much for hopping in and watching with us. We are live right now with Ed Ross Sr. from Horn Cabinets and Sarah Thomas from Sarah and Diddy. Um, and we're talking about some of the really awesome models of sewing cabinets that Horn has. Um, we have another question from Deborah here on Facebook. Uh, Deborah's wondering how much do you have to assemble when it gets to your home? Here's Deborah, that's a part. that's a great question, Deborah. <laughs> All right, you want to <laughs> answer this or no? Okay, okay the you can. Not, I'm just all our cabinets come fully assembled. That's right. All our cabinets come fully assembled. All right, uh, yeah. eighty ninety. It it it, is, it does ship upside down, so the you know they'll deliver it. They'll flip it upside down on the nine thousand. The only thing you have to really add are the wheels, but and that's very easily done. Yeah, they're really easy. I was able to do it with my little itty bitty girly tool set. It's it's easy. Now flipping it over. Because Callie, you have the option on the nine thousand. If you're going to keep it in one place all the time, you don't have to put the wheels on it. Right. And right. that's where you give the customer the option. You know, I do. I do love the casters, though. I I like how just quiet and smooth this whole cabinet or this this whole amazing piece of furniture is. It's just. The way that you move it, it just looks so effortless. And I think it's that's so really nice. great. But yeah, here's the actual foot and it's nice. It's a padded soft rubber. So if you don't do the wheels and you do the actual flat foot, it's not gonna scratch up your, your floor at all. It's got this really nice, like heavy duty, rubbery material over it. You know, and the other thing that's good about the 9,000, I think Sarah did a great job demonstrating it. She can put it anywhere in the room, move it around. You know, sometimes you want to pull it away from the wall and you want to just work from all sides. So, you you know, if you get a big cutting mat, you're doing different type of things. Yeah. You know, it, it's on the wheels. You can put the cabinet where you want it. So I'm not going to lie. Where my camera is set up right now, it's only about three feet away from my table but this is my yoga area. So I do actually push this table out of the way. So that way I can spread my mat out and do my yoga over here. <laughs> you know, and it solves another problem. If you need a cutting table, you don't have to buy a second cutting table. You can just, you know, buy it by, by a 9,000 and you're all set. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and that's the cutting so mat's really nice. I can just kind of push it behind the bookshelf if I'm not using it. And I'm actually using the, the tabletop with my machine up. That is really, really nice. So uh, I believe we had some other questions in the chat here. Um, someone was asking about the 9,000. So Jordan, let's pull up that uh, that banner again that we have of the, uh, the 9,000 so you can take a better look at these features. Um, so this is the 9,000. As you can see in this picture, the 9,000 can also fit an XP2. So the cutout is huge, it can fit. I promise, machine, whatever, don't even worry about the size, you got it. Um, but the great thing is, um, again, with this cabinet, we are also offering financing. So with the 9,000, $395 a month for 12 months, that is wild. And something else that I completely forgot to mention, if you order now, from now, today is April 1st, and this is not an April Fool's Day joke, I swear, I promise you, you have me at my word. We are going to be throwing in between now, April 1st and April 5th, 2021, we are going to be throwing in a free rose gold slimline lamp with purchase. Okay. And like you guys, y'all, the slimline lamps are absolutely amazing. I am obsessed with mine and just the combo between this amazing cabinet and this rose gold slimline lamp. First of all, it's adorable. Second of all, it is incredibly useful. <laughs> so I, I think that this is a really, really fantastic deal. But just like I said, 
and I'm telling you again, just hammer it at home. This is not an April Fool's Day joke, but this offer is only lasting from today, April 1st to April the 5th. So if you do want to get this cabinet and if you do want to get that slim line lamp, then go ahead and pick one of these up, uh, pick up the phone, give us a call. You can also order online. Um, and I'm, I'm telling you, there's no reason not to. There is no reason not to. These are absolutely quality cabinets as we saw. Um, just do it. Just do it. You know you want to. Hey, Kelly, <laughs> I know it may not help, but the other colors than white, you know, and this is the uh, sunrise and sunset maple and then gray, which is also a very hot color today. Mm -hmm. I love that gray color. Yeah, with the oak sort of looking through it. The yes, the that's so gray. pretty. Mm -hmm. You and know, I mean, all of them are so say, gorgeous. It, it's not, it's, I guess it's not funny, but it's so true that you say that they last. My mother had a Horn of America table. Oh my gosh. Back when we, so I was at least eight. So let's go with 1987, 1988. <laughs> but it was the one, and Ed, you'd have to, I don't know the name of it, but it's the table that has the storage in the middle so you can put a cutting mat rolled up in it and then the two wings slide out. Yep. Um, and it's like the big 72 inch or 76 inch like craft prep table. Big cutting mat, a big cutting table, yeah. But yeah, that was like her sewing prep because she did a lot of, oh my gosh, I have two little sisters. And she made all of our clothes, and we were those girls. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to find pictures of that one sometime. That's good stuff. Um, but that was like her garment cutting table, and then it graduated up to our gift wrap table, and then it became, I think, the clutter, everything lasted on it type table. But, yeah, I, I, somebody, one of my sisters, I think, still has it. So, 1988. They last. <laughs> yeah. They last. I think we had someone in the comments earlier. I, I can't find it now, but someone in the comments earlier was saying that um, they had horn cabinets in her sewing class in high school. Which, yeah, I, I saw mean, that. Yeah, that's just another testament to how well these last. Um, yeah. Just everything, the cat oh. down to the casters, the material, mm -hmm. everything. It is built to last. That was the big deciding factor for me because there are a handful of cabinet manufacturers out there. And I really wanted, I, I went from booth to booth to booth at this show because I want to know which one is going to work to what I'm going to put it through. And I, I mean, I do this for my, my careers now, sewing and quilting, who knew? But um, <laughs> the one thing that really sold me on these tables is the method that Horn uses to put on this side banding. It's yes. never going to peel away based on like hot or cold or sunlight or anything like that. I know a couple other cabinets out there over time, their banding does peel away. This stuff is on there forever. Oh, wow. Oh, and actually we do have, um, it was Carrie, Carrie on Facebook. She mentioned, um, she was the one that had them in high school. She said they were awesome in high school and we put them through a lot. Yeah. So they never broke. Yeah, if high schoolers yeah. can do their damage to them and Right. <laughs> exactly. Just another testament to how incredibly durable these uh, these cabinets really are. 100%. And oh my goodness, you guys. I mean, if if Sarah's demo wasn't enough, I, I would hope that Carrie talking about her experience with these in high school would also just hammer, yeah, hammer that home for you. Yeah, they're really, I mean, honestly, it's changed my life. I used to work at like an old dining room table with a chair. And of course that doesn't work well for everything you need to do. Right. And over the last few years, since adding these to my studio, it has helped me tenfold, especially when I showed the setup of how I do the foundation paper piecing with the mm -hmm. mat and the iron to one side and the light box to the other side. It's like a game changer. Right. Well, you know, the funny thing is before I, before I started using an actual cutting table for my sewing, oh, this is so embarrassing. I was cutting all of my fabric on my living room floor, just like <laughs> hunched yeah. over. Yeah. Terrible for your back. The absolute worst. Don't do it. Would not recommend. Just get a cutting table and you should get the 9,000 because it's incredible. My but gosh. oh my gosh. Yeah. It, it's really a lifesaver. It, it is, it's a back saver. 
you know? <laughs> you know. And that's the one thing about the technology, the innovation, adding that, you know, the height adjustability, it gives you that, that chance to do that, to, to stand up, cut your stuff out, move around, get your things done and get back to sewing when you're all finished. Yeah, it's, it's, exactly. It's a really cool table. It really is. And I, I don't know. I mean, I really love that. The, I know I can kind of see it in the background of, of your, um, of your screen, Sarah, the, all of the thread spool storage oh my that God. the 8090 has. Yes. Let me pull it out again here. It's just so, that's so many spools. I love that. 132. Oh my gosh. I know. Now you have to put in the work to color coordinate them on your own though. <laughs> yeah. So we actually have another question. Um, it looks like it is from Beth on Facebook. She's wondering how long the 8090 is. With the extension up and without, I will tell you. <laughs> We've got our handy dandy tape measure over here. <laughs> All right. So, so we're going to find out live on air. <laughs> so it's 63 to the regular. And then with the extension, we're going to add 14 and a half with the extension on the side. There you go. It's so 78. Thank you. Perfect. I can't do that type of math that quickly. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I sew, but I can't do math on the fly that quickly. I'll sit down and do calculus for hours, but like the quick additions, I'm going, what? Right. So we have someone else on YouTube wondering, since they come put together, how hard are they to take apart? Because it wouldn't fit <laughs> on my sewing room fully assembled. So uh, they, you don't, I don't know why anyone would truly need to take them apart. I had that question too, because I, again, I was a consumer. How do I do it? You don't have to. Other than the 9,000 upright, they will fit through a standard doorway. All right. Well, that's good to know. There you go. I hope that answers your question. So let's see. I'm just checking to see if we have any more questions, but we all just did say, I mean, y'all just did such a great job of answering everyone's questions that everyone hey, Can just, I add uh, a fun little thing? Yeah. So if anyone, and that means anyone, Facebook or Instagram wants to go follow me, Sari Diddy. Yes. I did put up a photo today of this studio and I tagged all brands. So find that post. It's the latest post that I put up, but make a comment on there and let us know that you were actually here and you saw it, say something that you like, or do you have a question? But I will, again, you said April 5th is when you're doing your financing through. Mm -hmm. No. So the financing is like that. The financing's through synchrony. We are just throwing in that free, um, the free rose gold daylight. Oh, the free light. rose gold. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go with the April 5th as well. On the 5th, I'll choose someone from all those comments to win a Sari Diddy notion. <gasps> you guys, two giveaways in one day. Why not? I feel like being given. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, so, oh my gosh, what a day. This has just been so exciting. I, I've learned a lot. I think we've all had a lot of fun today, for sure. Um, so I'm gonna let everyone uh, get their names, their comments, shares, likes, those uh, subscribes in, and we will pull a name for that gift card very soon, but it looks like we have a few more questions. Um, let's see what we've got here. Um, so Linda on Facebook is wondering if we have the horn cabinets in our San Antonio store, go ahead and give the store a call, Lena. I'm sorry. I just realized I mispronounced your name. Um, but Lena, go ahead and give the, uh, San Antonio store a call. I don't have inventory off the top of my head. Um, but I'm fairly certain we can get that for you. Um, You'll just have to give them a call and see, um, and give your local store a call if you are around. Um, we, I, y'all, I love these cabinets. I do. I, I'm just gonna keep saying it. I do. I think they're great. Um, but let's see if we have any other questions. Um, so I am curious, and do you think that this is something that could be? Um, what's the right word that could possibly be taken apart because the person wondering how easy they or how hard they were to take apart. Um, they're saying that it might not fit through the doorway and go kind of around the hall, um, into the basement. 
sewing room. So is there an, is there like a way? The 80, 90, I mean, there are some other models that are a little smaller that she can look at uh, mm -hmm. that you guys do offer. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I love the last yeah, comment. Yeah, if space is a concern, there are smaller yeah. models and you can go ahead and shop all of those on our website. Right. Um, a lot of them do have very different features, they're different sizes. Um, so just take a look at the ones that we've got on the site and see if there is one that could be a better fit yeah. for I, you. I, I know a lot of the dealers end up, you know, in, 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 in odd circumstances, you know, will do it. I think, it, you know, it has to be your dealer and if they're willing to take it apart at, at that point. But uh, uh, if there's any way we can kind of get it down in one piece, that's the best way to do it. So my yeah. other horn cabinet back here, it's 45 and a half inches wide um, and it has two swing up extensions on the left and the right side to help give it that extra like 72 inch full width. But yeah, oh, yeah that's an option. Five inches is doable. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely an option. I mean, depending yeah. on, on your space, but I think that's, that's also a great option. So let's see. <laughs> Lena, you're cracking me up over here. Um, so, oh wait, no, it's not Lena. I'm sorry, I'm reading these comments wrong. Oh my goodness, I need some coffee. Nancy was saying if I had the 9,000, I would sleep on top of it. <laughs> Just don't sleep I mean, on the panel. You don't want to put your weight on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. <laughs> see, oh I don't think we have any more questions and we are rolling up on about an hour. So I think, um, before well, we go I ahead and pull the name, on Monday the 5th, we're starting a quilt along where I'm Yes, I was just about to ask. Yeah, I'm going to be using the 8090 pretty much exclusively for this quilt along where I'm doing my piecing, but that way I'm really going to show how I do my foundation paper piecing. So if anyone wants to get better at it or wants to learn how to foundation paper piece, you're welcome to join the quilt along. Again, just find this picture on my Instagram or my Facebook page. It has all the info in there. And the pattern is online in my Etsy shop. So it'll be fun. It's five weeks. It leads right up to Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. So let's see. We have another um, question from Beth. Beth was wondering how many other cabinets we have that fit the luminaire. So the 8090 and the 9000 that we showed both have openings. Right. Any, any 8000 model cabinets, the 8479, 8090, 8080, 8050, 8030, all fit. And the 9,000, 9,000 and 9,100 all fit the larger the larger size machines. If you look at any of the descriptions for the cabinets and you just read what the cutout is on top, as long as it's the 31 by 15 and a half inch cutout, it's going to fit the larger You're set. Machine. Yep. Yeah. And Beth, we do carry all of those on our website. Um, so go ahead. And if you are, um, if you are curious and you want to look into other models other than the ones that we, the two that we showed today. Um, definitely head on over to allbrands.com. I believe um, we have, we carry, I want say we carry uh, the horn cabinets on our website. It's a pretty extensive section. Yeah. So take a look, shop around, take a look at the insert size because that is gonna be important in determining, you know, which one will be the best fit for you. Um, and, yeah, so go ahead and take a look at our site. But Sarah, where um, where can we follow you? Where can we follow you on social media? Every, Instagram, Facebook, everything is, let me get up here nice and close. Everything is Sari Diddy. Perfect. Yep. So that's where I'm at. Sweet, because I'm going to hop into that quilt along. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I'm hopping there. Different, bunch of different heart shapes, that, which is really funny. I hate anything heart shaped, but this quilt speaks to me and I'm really excited to make it because there's a lot of different fun geometric ways to paper piece these hearts together. And it's, it's cute. It's so it's cute. Fun. It's so cute. I think it is really fun too. Okay. I think, I think it's time. I think it might be time to pull for our $100 all brands gift card. Oh, so, there we go. And now is the time. So we're going to go ahead and randomly pick a name, but let's get, oh, wait, hold on. Carrie wants you to show the social media card again. I can do that. So I'm sorry. I hate to break the tension. No, that's okay. <laughs> this is I, I keep like breaking the tension here with all these distractions. Sari Diddy, S-A-R-I-D-I-T-T-Y. Perfect. 
So don't forget, go ahead and go show Sarah some uh, love on her social media. Okay, and now we are definitely going to pick that name. I've been stalling for too long. I've been stalling. So let's get a little drum roll real quick. And let's pull a random name for that $100 man's gift card. Do we have a name? Barbara Jones. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, congratulations, Barbara. Oh, you, oh. Congratulations, Barbara. Barbara. You're always watching the show. You're always tuning in. You're always game for whatever we're, uh, whatever we've got going on. So thank you so very much for watching and congratulations. You have won a $100 All Brands gift card. So you know by now, if, um, if you would please email events at allbrands.com and go ahead and give us your name, your email address, your phone number. <laughs> that good <laughs> stuff. Up. We will of get of those all out to you. Um, and Barbara says, thank you. It's better than the lottery. Yeah, it really is, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, congratulations, Barbara. Thank you so, so much. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Um, we are giving away $100 All Brands gift cards every day we do the show. So every Tuesday and Thursday, come back because we, we are still doing these giveaways, all right? Like, I'm telling you, it's a good time. We've been here. If this is your first time joining us. Come on back and see us. But uh, I think that just about does it. So Sarah Thomas, Ed Ross, thank you so very much for coming. Thanks, on the thanks show. for having us. Oh, this has been a blast. I think we're done. <laughs> Everyone can still see us. <laughs> but I don't know where she went. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. <laughs> well, if anyone can still hear, message us. Ed Raz, Sari J, we can help you out with There that. you go. Here I was missing for a second, but I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> we didn't know what happened. Terrible right? time to have Wi-Fi issues, but that is the magic of live television, right? Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so very much, Ed and Sarah, for coming well, on the show. Thank you for having um, us. My pleasure. And since we are having internet issues, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Please go ahead and follow us on social media if you aren't already. You can find us everywhere at All Brands 1976 um, and tune in next week. We've got some really great stuff coming up for you on Tuesday. And please do not miss the replay of another Lewis Carney All Brands show. Um, that is going to be really special and we are going to be celebrating um, his life. He is, he was an absolutely incredible brother educator, even more person. So again, thank you all very much for watching. We really, really appreciate you being here. Come back and see us next week. And that will do it for today. Bye everybody. Bye everyone. Bye.